Welcome back to more Y2, everybody. So last time we ended up here in route number seven. And well, we essentially, well, did a couple things. We've actually done quite a number of things, but um, for the most part, the uploads, at least I believe, as of the time I'm recording this video, the uploads are getting a little bit better. Although I can't necessarily promise that because ten I tend to record videos a few days before, you know? Usually about a week or so before sometimes, especially now when I'm having more difficulty, you know, keeping up with these uploads. Anyway, I am going to flamethrower the unfazant. You are going to gust, I guess, the duck, this ducklet. And then you are going to feign attack this ducklet. Try to combine your attacks to kill that thing. Let's see if you can. Okay, I did kill you in one shot, with my Wilbur, of course. Got some experience. 1261. You gained a boosted amount of experience there. Foul play. Sure. That's a pretty interesting move right there. Um, I'm actually going to get rid of Scary Face. Foul play, essentially, um, let's see if I remember this. It uses the opponent's attack and their defense. Like, both attack and defense as a combination, I think. Like, in terms of doing damage, because most attacks in the game, it's either it's your attack or special attack, depending on what type of move it is. And then, you know, the opponent's defense or special defense. Foul play, I believe, is your opponent's attack and your opponent's defense. I'm going to use... I'm just going to have to use Assurance on you. And then you got to use Gust. Actually, you can use Gust on this guy. Go for the kill because you're gonna kill him this turn. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, there we go. Yep. I did that perfectly because now the other Ducklet should be dying, right? To this feint attack. Yes, there we go. Okay. Not bad at all. Last flow is down, and um, I'm actually seeing a lot of triple battles here. I'm not really used to seeing this many here. Okay, so where did I have last leave off? Was it? Wait, so it was from there. It was okay, because in the end of the last episode, I recorded it a few days ago, and I actually kind of forgot a couple things here or there. Uh, but I believe I came from the bottom, and then the west, right? I think. I really should just go back and retrace my steps, to be perfectly honest. But you know what? That's fine. I'm gonna use arm thrust. Wow, that was a one-hit kill. Sinchino? That's another normal type. I'm going to use another arm thrust on you. That's a lot of damage there. Oh my god. 1114 experience. Alright, I defeated you, and let's just move on. So let's see, I can either go there or there. I'm going to check this place out. I don't know if I have a repel on. I actually completely forgot. That's a leaf stone. Here's a trainer. Yeah, I'll battle you. Sure, I mean, why not, right? <laughs> Preschooler Greg. Sunflora. This Pokemon is such garbage. Like, you don't even know. Sunflora is just... Pure trash. Flamethrower. Alright, that's easy enough. That's a one-shot, one-kill. I don't know why I said one-kill. More like a one-shot kill. That's because that's actually a saying. I think that's why I said it. One-shot, one-kill, you know? Okay. Uh, let's see, let's see. Ooh, there's the... Oh, shoot! That's actually uh, that, that fooled me. That totally fooled me. But the tower's up there, as you can see, but however, I do need to explore that running, what do you call it? That wood thing in the, in the air? I'm just gonna run. It's a waste of PP, you know? Okay, so there's a tower. Let me check behind it. I see nothing. What about on this side? I see nothing. Okay, so I am going to go this way. That's another trainer right there. And an item. That better not be a fungus. Preschooler Chrissy sent out Darumaka. And I always forget, you're fire, right? And then you become fire psychic? Or something like that? I'm pretty sure. 
Let me use Arm Thrust. Okay, if I get a three shot kill, yep, yeah, or a three hit kill, that's gonna be, yep, a uh, kill. I'm pretty sure it's pure fire. Because for some reason, both fire and fighting are coming into my mind. I mean, I always forget the goddamn typing of this Pokemon, but okay. Come down here, that's an elixir right there. Alright, I'm all done with that, and I'm gonna go all the way back down, and then... Oh yeah, sure, he's another repel, why not? Okay, so what's over here? Oh, I fell. Wait, dude. Wait, I... Oh my god. Okay, here we go. It's a house. Hmm, let me enter here. What's in here? Ah, those legendaries. Tornadus and Thundarus. And then, yep, Lindorus is the other one. Okay. You saw them? Hello, Grandma. Okay, what about you? What do you gotta say? You are so generous. You are seriously so generous. Okay, thank you. Okay, I'm pretty sure that if I keep going this way, it'll take me to the next place. Right? Like, I should probably explore that tower first. Hmm. Actually, they were just healed. What? Okay. Yeah, they were just healed, actually. Alright, I'm gonna go in and battle you twins now. Zangoose and Seviper. 33 and 33. I mean, the levels are staying at around there, 30 to 35, you know? So that's fine. I'm gonna arm thrust you, and then you are going to use a, I guess, a fire spin on Seviper, sure. Arm thrust should be able to kill, even with two hits. Yeah, okay, that's what I thought. And then fire spin. That did more damage than I thought. Then again, Volcarona does have massive special attack. <laughs> you got burned. You got burned. Are you gonna get burned? Oh, actually, no. You used Shadow Skin. I was gonna say, you're gonna take burn damage and fire spin damage, you know? Our flamethrower. And there we go. Okay. Yeah, so for these, again, you gotta keep walking. Because if you stop walking, you actually do fall off. But every single time I keep advancing forward a little bit more, I keep thinking to myself, I should probably go back and explore the tower first. Because, you know, she needs to talk to, um, who am I looking for? Oh my gosh, I actually forgot. But somebody was waiting for me in the previous town or area. I already forgot the story, people. I can't believe this. I can't believe it. Okay, let's run f this way now. Um, I'm gonna run down first. Okay, so there's another trainer. Of Ooh, X Scizor. That is pretty damn good. Okay, uh, let's see. I'm gonna run this way. Let's go ahead and battle this guy. Okay, now I think it would be a good time to go back because I fully explored this bottom section and I think going up just proceeds more, like forward. So once I beat this guy, I'm pretty sure that I'm good to go. Like to just go back and explore that before I keep progressing forward in the game. Because the last thing I want to do is then like come back, you know, like a big amount. It's going to be really annoying. And I really don't want that to happen, you know? Okay. I'm going to jump from here. And I'm going to run back this way. Yeah, okay, let me make sure. Yep, Celestial Tower. Um, no. <clears throat> I mean, I actually don't know if there's encounters in here. I totally forgot, but let's take a look. 
Okay. Ooh. I found you already. The lucky egg? Are you serious? I got a free lucky egg, just like that. That's something that is honestly amazing to give, you know? I mean, yeah, my fire attacks are now nerfed a little bit, you know, by switching out that charcoal there, but in the long run, this could be more beneficial. Okay, I'm gonna go all the way to the top. Oh my god, are there freaking trainers here as well? You gotta be kidding me. This place is ginormous, man. Psychic Joyce. Okay. You have a... a Musharna. Okay. That is a, a, a Psychic type, so what I'm gonna do... Is use my... Wait, why did it forewarn you to that? Isn't forewarn... Oh, thank god I avoided that. Oh my god, I'm so lucky. Doesn't forewarn, like, see an opponent's... Like, the opponent's most dangerous move to you as a user? Or is it just the most dangerous move in terms of power? Because that would be flamethrower, correct? But it, it didn't forewarn the assurance. So I'm actually a little bit lost right there, but you know what? That's okay. Uh, I'm going to go over here, talk to you, and they're gonna run up there to the north, and then I'm gonna get both items. Hopefully there's no funguses here because, well, honestly, why would, why would there be? There shouldn't be any logical reason, you know, for there being a fungus in here. Okay, that's a fire ghost. Which means assurance is once again the best move that I can use on you, being a ghost type. There we go. Easy enough. Okay. Let's go ahead and grab um, this item here. Oh, damn. I forgot that. Oh, shit. There's no repels. I forgot. Hey, I can catch one of these. I can catch my third fire type if I want to. Chandelure, though, is really good as well. Both Chandelure and Volcarona are great. Honestly, they're both better than this guy, than Embor. But Embor is my highest level, so I'm keeping him as my main, you know? Okay, I'm gonna grab this. Wait, oh, whoops. TM61 Will O Wisp. Not bad, not bad. Okay, let's, um, let's go to you. Talk to you. Pokefan Jude. Okay, cute charm. I mean, luckily you're gonna die in one shot anyway. That's gonna be okay for me. Don't say that. You are not pathetic. Like, really? Okay. Let's go, um... Yeah, let's talk to you. Hyper Potion. Alright, and that is that. Time to keep going up. I don't know how many floors there are here, to be perfectly honest. I have no clue whatsoever. So I'm just gonna keep, um keep going up as much as I can while getting as many items as possible because that's really all I can do, you know? Alright, so Pokefan George has sent out Cup Chew. I think that's a nice type. I think he evolves into Bear Tick, right? So I'm gonna use Flame... Actually, I mean, I should probably use Arm Thrust to be honest, but oh well. Yeah, you are dead. Nice. Let me talk to you as well. Come on. So there's an item over there to the left. And I still see uh, two more trainers here on this floor, which is... Okay. I mean, there's a lot of battles here, definitely. That is an Espeon. Okay. Espeon is a Psychic type. Which means that Assurance is going to be the best move to use on you. So I'm going to do that. And you are faster than me. That makes sense. 
Vespian is very fast, and Boy is very slow. Okay, 2,000 experience, Jesus Christ, okay. Let's go ahead and um, come over here. That's a revive, okay. Psychic Bryce. And this is a... I honestly do not know this typing. Oh god. I have no clue. I want to say you're part ghost, but I could be wrong. Or you part rock... I'm going to use a flamethrower. This might be dumb. But I'm going to go for it. That was normal. So you're not rock. Well, unless you were part something that was weak to fire. Okay, this one is a pure psychic type. So I'm going to use my assurance. Good. Okay. Taking care of all these left and right. Alright, so that's that. Let me go ahead and go down now. Oh, yeah. Wait, what? Oh, sure. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Wait, did I ever grab the item on the left? Did I beat that guy that's running back and forth? I totally forgot. Nurse Dixie sent out Levani. That is a uh, grass type. Or grass bug. No, grass. Grass. Either way, one flinter will roast you. You're dead, dude. You're dead. Flamethrower. Head smash? I don't think I'm going to do that. I mean, it's a powerful move. But you take half the damage that you did as recoil, which is insane. What's even worse is that I'm not even a rock type, so that's unstabbed right there. Which is not... Great. On other Pokemon like Rampardos, you know, that's that's a lot better. I mean, Rampardos already has a massive 165 attack. Oh, you know, with Head Smash, that's ridiculous damage there. Although he does take a shitload of damage as Recoil. Okay, I'm on the third floor now, and there are still more trainers. This is insane. This is absolutely insane. Okay, let's see. Social at Grace. Roselia. Ooh, a lot of Pokemon that are weak to my Embor here. Then again, I do have good type coverage, you know, firefighting and dark. That is pretty good type coverage. There's very few Pokemon that, you know, can resist or like that are not weak to any of those three. Well, I mean not really. There's there are actually a lot of types, but it's good type coverage in terms of not many Pokemon resisting a lot of these moves. PP up. Okay. I will take that. Here's another trainer, and then there's another one on the right side, and I'm gonna go up. Hopefully it's the last floor here, because I'm getting sick and tired of this Celestial Tower right here. Umbreon. Let's see, this one is weak to Arm Thrust, being a Dark type. Okay, Arm Thrust. Third battle, and then he's uh, protecting an item over there, so I will gladly beat this guy. Or girl. It's a girl. Oh my god. Sorry. Psychic Sarah. Yamask. Who the hell is this? I always forget this freaking typing, too. I, he's a ghost, right? He's gotta be a ghost. The thing is, my ability is gonna change to mummy. If I touch this damn thing, but I have to do it. Not that I'm even taking advantage of my freaking blaze. You know, I'm not. It's not like I'm ever, like, below one-third of my health. I mean, I, I am in the tougher battles, but not in here. <laughs> not anytime soon. Risk. Okay, use another assurance, because that's a psychic type. Okay, there we go. Took care of you. Let me go ahead and grab this item over here. That is a TM65 Shadow Claw. Not bad. Not bad. Actually, can you learn that? Because that move is actually much better. Let me take a look at it. Okay, how do I sort this? I do that by number. Okay. 
Shadow Claw, use. Aw, oh, damn it, he can't. That would have been nice if you could. What else can you learn? I mean, I don't have that many TMs yet, though. That's the thing. It's really difficult to take advantage of this, you know? Because I don't have good TMs for Embor. Okay, nothing over there. Um, Do I have to fight a legendary up here? I'm actually going to save the game because I have no idea. I mean, not that I'm really interested in catching one. I don't know. I really don't know. Okay, here we go. What's up here? Sure. Um... I don't know what that did. I really don't know what that just did. Okay, what I'm gonna use is an escape rope if I can. I just don't know if the game will even let me do this. God damn it. Stupid game. What's the point of an escape rope if I can even use it on areas that are kind of like long that look like dungeons, you know? Oh, so you know what's funny? Okay. I, um... Okay, kind of a funny story here. So, and, and it's related to this, to, to Pokemon, you know? So, there's a game, like a board game, that's called, like, Pokemon... Oh, shit, I actually forgot what it was. It, it's a board game that came out back when only Kanto was around. Like, Pokemon is, like, Master Quest or something? No, it's not Master Quest. Pokemon... Something about being a champion or Pokemon Master or whatever. Um, but anyway, like, like, the box is black. And, like... There's like a, what do, you, what do you call them? It's like a little pox th thing um, for every single Pokemon. So like the goal of the game is to like go ahead and like catch Pokemon, you know, and, and eventually beat our, our, they call it rivals in the game. You beat a rival and that's like the final battle. So it's one of the elite fours of, of Kanto, like Agatha, Bruno, Lorelei, uh, Lance, and Gary, you know? Um, but yeah, so I described that game just so you kind of get an idea of whatever, because I, I forgot the name. I really did. But... Wait, what? What the hell do I do? Do I have to go back? Maybe I do have to. Maybe I have to go back and talk to Skyla again or something. Yeah, I probably have to do that. Oh, what happened to my repel, dude? What the hell happened to my repel? Did I skip the message of using the repel? Oh gosh, I'm being stupid. Okay. Anyway. Uh, so that game, like... I had it as a kid, and the thing is, I never really thought much of it until um, a certain channel that I actually am subscribed to, you know, uh, they actually did a series on it. The The channel's called Steven Plays, Steven as an S-T-E-P-H-E-N, and then the word plays, all in one word together, Steven Plays. So they played the board game, and... Just, just by seeing it, like, first of all, as a kid, we played it very differently. Uh, and we played it wrong, let's just say. Uh, and that usually... Oh my god, where the hell am I going? I haven't battled these people either. I am so lost right now. But anyway, those videos were so hilarious. Just because of how stupid the game... I, I mean, okay, the game is fun. And it's kind of well designed, except for some parts where the game can actually run forever because it's kind of stupidly designed. In some parts of it. It really is though, like it really is. It's just oh shit. Sorry. I thought I got a message or something. But yeah, it's um it's extremely strange. Just the way on how it's actually played. Let's just say that, you know? Um, but it's like it was a random thing because I had barely like seen that board game until like Years and years, like I had not seen that board game for years and years, you know. And I was like, "Oh shoot, this game! I totally forgot about it," you know. But yeah, I finally saw it again. Um, I'm actually gonna use arm thrust because there's rain right now. Oh my freaking god, you stupid tranquils! Okay, let's try again. You better hit at least three times, man, because you're not, you're not gonna two shot him. God damn it! Freaking brigged stuff. Shit. Okay, here's another one. Thank God for not doing detect again, like a, like an annoying bird, you know. 
Okay. So that's that. Okay, seriously, where the hell am I going, though? Oh, maybe I just never fought that trainer. Okay, that was weird. Maybe I never took that pathway. Anyway, the prison's over here. Oh, I need to hop on your plane? Fine, let's do it. Oh, great, here's Bianca. Reversal Mountain? We're gonna go to Lent Lentimus Town, or Lentimus Town. Sure. Does I have another gym in there? I'd like to say yes, I wanna hope it does. Well, we're going. We are going somewhere. Yes, you should. Yes, I know that. Hmm. Okay, why don't you just slam me to Opulent City then? Or Oplucid. I don't know how to fucking say that name. Okay. Reversal Mountain. Okay. Let's take a look at what I can do here. Who's this guy? No, you... Oh my god, I can't talk to you. Hmm. Uh, no. Okay, there's nothing over here, but what's on this pathway? Oh my god, this thing keeps ringing. Who's this? Is this a mom again? What is what is up with these random people? It's so like hard gold and soul silver, or gold and silver really, I should say. You know, with random annoying people everywhere being like, Yo, what's up? So this happened, bye. Like, yeah, cool. Okay, I'd like to enter this door here. Okay, who are you? What will happen when you press select while you are checking the town map? I don't know because I don't have one. I have no idea either. Block. It's like spider web and mean look. Uh, nope, no thank you. I gotta give you them blue shards apparently. Who are you? Um. Do I remember why I'm traveling? I, I don't know, man. I don't know. I'm just, I just want to be a Pokemon master, I guess. TM57 Charge Beam. Well, I mean that's just another move that Ambor cannot learn, you know. All right, I'm gonna come over here. What the hell is in here? Nothing. Apparently not. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and enter this Pokemon Center. What I'm gonna do though is buy some more repels, max repels. You know what? I'm gonna buy some of these too. I'm gonna buy like a shitload of them. I'm gonna have 30. Also, guess what, everybody? Random note here, but. Okay, so it's summer right now, as you know. However, starting in the fall semester. Really in the fall, but to me it's a semester. I'm gonna do a lot of stuff. Like, I'm gonna learn a bunch of stuff that I've always wanted to learn. I wanna learn how to salsa dance. I wanna learn how to do um, just archery. And I kind of already know this next one, but I wanna learn more. Uh, bowling. Basically, at our on our campus, Long Beach State, we have all those things there. We have them all. And it's just, it's real nice, you know? To be able to, um, I guess, because, you know, they are extracurricular stuff. Some of them are actually considered club sports, which is real fun. Um, but, I mean, I just... I honestly like just doing stuff like that for fun, you know? Salsa dancing is something that I wanted to do for a while already. Like, I really did want to do that for a while. But I just... I didn't have enough time to do it. Like, to be perfectly honest, and here's the thing, like, I want to do a vlog for all of you soon about just, like, some advice. Like, for all of you who are still undergrads in college or that you're not even there yet, like you're in high school or something, or even middle school, 
I just want to tell you all some tips that I learned, things that you should do, you know, as an undergrad to really make your life better. Like, to have a more successful future, you know, in terms of, I guess, meeting people, uh, networking, uh, professionalism, all that stuff. Like, because there's some things like, okay, don't get me wrong, I did some great things in, as an undergrad, but I also missed on some great opportunities as an undergrad, and I completely recognize that, you know? And that's kind of why I really just want to take the time to, you know, make, like make, make a video or something um, that just kind of goes over that. Just because people, I don't know how I should say this, but people honestly view you differently when you're a grad student. They do. Um, and I'm not blaming them for doing that, but it, it's sometimes very irritating to say the least when somebody doesn't see you as one of them because you're a grad student. I mean, in a way, I kind of, I kind of have to understand it a little bit, you know? Um, but I'm just saying that you are... You're seen as somebody different when you are a grad student, like, you know, in post back. But, uh, yeah, I'll just leave it at that because I don't want to spoil too much information, you know, about, like, what's to come. Really, I'm hoping to do it in this next week, week and a half or so, a nice vlog about that, you know, and these freaking unfazans, just like tranquils, are so annoying with their detects. Also, I'm going to end this video, like, right now, once I beat this person. Okay. Alright, so if you enjoyed this episode in any way, please be sure to leave a like. I'd appreciate it very much. Thank you, and as always, I will see you all next time. Bye-bye, everyone. Have a great and a fantastic day.